Oh, a hallway. It's far too narrow to be called one. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Well, these machines are weird. I I've never seen any of them before. Huh? Wait, this one is... Ah, yes. A telegraph key. These were used to transmit Morse code a long time ago. This must be the communication office. And that door? Captain's quarters. Huh. That's what it says. Then, do you think... Well, we won't know if we don't open it. <sighs> Not again. Damn. No, w wait. We didn't check his pulse yet. Maybe he's still alive. No pulse. Well, he's dead. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. These wounds. Uh, I wonder what killed him. It must have been this. These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was zero? Bracelet zero. Uh. Jim A. It may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. So here we are in the captain's quarters. There's blood on the chair. Do you think this was the dead guys? Yeah, probably. Actually, let's examine it. There's blood on the chair. Kinda creep me out. A camcorder. Looks like it's pointed at the door. Well, the power's on. Why would someone want to videotape a door? I think this camera records to a hard drive. But it does look like this one's recording anything. What do you mean? It's just saying whatever it sees to... something. What does it see? The door. It's a lamp. But it doesn't turn on. I don't think there's anything special about it. We'll examine that later. Small table. That's a bed. There's nothing under the sheets. Didn't mean to do that. A bed. There's nothing in it. Thank you, Clover, for establishing what we just did. Okay, so before we go any further, there's something I need to point out. So, when this video started, we were actually... Wait a second, am I on the right path? Here we are. So we actually went through door 4. So I went back and changed the route to door 5. And the reason for that being is, I don't know how to disable the flag exactly, because for this next part, you will force yourself onto the coffin ending. And we're here for the axe ending. So we're going to do this room incorrectly the first time so we get the axe ending. Then we'll reload from here, get the extra scenes, and I'll speed through the room for the coffin ending. So in case you're wondering, after the axe, it's coffin safe true. So we got the code out of here. Oh, it's on my files. We have the music box. Hit this. Bunch of weird buttons. Probably switch what you see on the screens. Do you know how to work this thing? Uh, why don't we just press one of these? Like this one. Well, I guess it does change the... What the hell is this? Yeah, what is this? Hey, isn't the door on that screen the one right behind us? 
you're right. So whatever that camera sees is sent to this screen in real time. I wonder if that means something, you know? Hmm. So then once you click here, that'll either trigger the zero conversation or this one. If you get the zero one, then... Call off an ending. We're looking for the axe. Huh. Z-E-R-O, huh? It's like he's making fun of us. What do you think? Nothing. What about him? Do you think that's really Zero? There's no way that's him. Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah, right. I know it's important to figure out who this guy is, but... Don't you think we should figure out how to get out of here first? But... Please, I don't want to waste any more time. <sighs> Alright, sure thing. So, if you're on the coffin ending or true ending, she would fit a bunch of pieces together there. And we don't want that right now. So there's an E on the screen. Like, you didn't even see the guy's watch now that I think about it. Because if you want a bit of a spoiler... His number's on here. And I'll give you a hint. It's a non-zero. Food for thought. So anyway, you have to trigger that scene in order to leave this room leave that room, otherwise Clover will just keep saying, don't leave me alone, don't leave me alone, and all that crap. So here we have some ink. A bottle of ink. It's filled with ink. We have some small screwdrivers, which you can combine with the music box. The screwdriver ought to make sure we're with this music box. So now we have a cylinder. One second. Okay, so right here we need to see... Can I combine this now? Um, I guess I'll put the ink on the cylinder. So now we have a dirty cylinder. To go with Akane's dirty mind. There's nothing in the drawer anymore. Nothing on the table anymore. It's an old telegraph machine. I'll be honest, I have no idea how it works. It's an old telegraph machine. Nothing suspicious here. A pair of headphones. I can't hear anything. Guess whatever they were connected to doesn't work anymore. Hey Ace, hey, so look! There's a big ass rat trap over here. I told you, that's a telegraph key. It's a device to transmit messages through Morse code. It's a telegraph key. It's a machine for transmitting Morse code. I tried sending an SOS earlier, but I doubt that did anything. Zero would never make it that easy. So you think it's broken? No, it works. I'm just not sure if it actually transmits anything outside of the ship. Hmm. Hey, Ace, look! It's a monkey with glasses! How on earth did you arrive at that conclusion? Hey, Ace, look! It's a model of a steam train. How on earth did you arrive at that conclusion? The cable that comes out of this thing is connected to the desk. What does that mean? Looks as though that drawer is the only thing that's locked. I don't see a keyhole, though. An electronic lock, perhaps. Take a look at the left side of the drawer. Yeah, there's some cables over there. That must mean... Hey, what is this? It's blank. There's nothing written on it. Now I just gotta roll the cylinder across a piece of paper. And if I'm right, the ink should... Just you suspected, right? Now you have a pattern of dots and lines on the paper. I imagine it's Morse code. These dots and lines are the dots and dashes of Morse code. <laughs> Telegraph key. No cheese on it, unfortunately. Alright, I've got the Morse code I'm supposed to enter. If I do this right, something will happen. I hope. Alright, let's give this a shot. So I don't actually know how you do this. Okay, so you have to hold it. Slipped, I'll get right next time. I don't know if you can go back or not. The operator pushing this button. 
that works for as dit is the light result of a light tap on the button, the dash, which is a result whereas da is what you get if you hold the button down. Okay, give it a shot. So one, two, three, one. I don't actually know what that spells out. That's the last one, and yes. Excellent work, Jinbei. Good job. You seem to have figured it out. You've unlocked the drawer. Thank you, Captain Obvious. There's something inside that looks like a file or something. <laughs> looks like there's something on the cover. A-L-L-I-C-E. But isn't it supposed to say all ice? This doesn't have a space between the L and the I. Are they saying that A-L-L-I-C-E is a single word? What the hell is this? They are hieroglyphs, a form of writing used in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt? That's right. Can you read them? Of course. Not. I can't. What would make you think I could? What the hell? Whoa, the, the whole thing's like that. Huh? What's this? Oh, a, a key card. Mars. Uranus. Oh. That's the Uranus symbol. Something's written on the bottom. The dot, that's right. Bottom deck library. This must be the key to the library, then. Is the bottom deck a library? Uh, anyway, whatever. It's gonna have to wait. I can't do anything right now. New material added to the file screen. There's a key in the drawer. Guess I was hidden under the red file. Unique key. Looks more like a bottle opener. Look, a hook. That wasn't a joke. I know, man. A clock mounted on the wall. The hands aren't moving. A little surprised that the time is wrong then, I suppose. And there's nothing on the back. Junpei, what are you doing? We've searched the wheelhouse from top to bottom. There's no reason to go back. In fact, don't you think it would be wise to investigate the captain's quarters? I think we ought to check both rooms, don't you? I guess we can head back over there. Looks like whatever the camera sees shows up on the screen behind us. So if I put my hand here in front of it, it shows up on the middle top screen back there. You've got a short lifeline, Junpei. Hey, mind your own business! Foreshadowing, perhaps? Let's see if shaking us you gets us anywhere. No dice. Control panel for the electric lock. Looks like it's got a keyhole in the bottom right. Maybe the key I got earlier. Sweet, just had to put that key in and now it's on. Junpei, look! There's a minus sign on the screen. There's eight of them. That probably means we've got to put in eight digits. Do you think you can figure it out? Hmm. So let's see. Three... Eight digits, huh? Once I put in the eight-digit number, I push E to enter it, and if I mess up, I push C to clear it. Let's give it a shot. Three, five, one, five, two is twenty, minus two is eighteen, plus nine is twenty-seven, and then twenty-four, I believe. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to coordinate dinner plans as I do this. <laughs> So, let's see, am I right? Okay, I might have one of these backwards, then. So 26 plus 9 is 35. Oh, that's it, it's 14, I think. R, 18, 27... O is 15, becomes 24. 
So in case you don't get a zero in hexadecimal. That's what we get on the screen there, that's why his name is displayed. Yes, it worked. Good job, Junpei. Excellent, you seem to have unlocked it. Good work, Junpei. Alright, let's go. And this should lock us into the axe ending. So now I have to do these puzzles again, except the right way. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's the next door. Wait, a piece of paper. This is... Map of the ship's interior for A-Deck. <laughs> What's wrong? I found a map for this floor. I see. Well, that was anticlimactic. I should keep this, though. Hey, uh, where's Clover? Damn it, what the hell is she up to? Clover! Huh? huh? <sighs> what the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What the hell is that? What? You've got something in your pocket. What is it? Oh, this? Uh, um, this is... That better not be drugs, young lady. Hmm, I wonder. What the hell? Come on, we gotta hurry. Huh? Clover, what's that on your back? A stick. Hey, Clover, what the hell's that thing on your back? Is she ignoring me? Oh, for crying out loud. The big stairs. Huh. So this is where it ends up. Just like it says on the map. Ace, did he head down? Oh, there he is. Look! The four others are there, too! Really? Let's join them! Jumpy! Clover! What's up? We found it! Found what? We found it! What did you find? The number nine door. The last door! We found door nine! What? Come on! Just follow us! We'll explain on the way! Okay. Well, if that's the case... Wait for me. We should get going as well. Jumpy! We finally made it! Yeah, it's finally time. We've reached the end. Something's bothering me. Only three to five people can go through the numbered door. Seven of us are on our way to door nine. That means that, best case scenario, there will be two of us who have to stay behind. Two people. Is there a way? 4.30. We've only got 90 minutes left. I've got no time to wonder about it now. Hey, Junpei! June! What the hell are you two doing? Hurry it up! Let's go, Jumpy! Yeah. Hey, what about door two? What about door two? Door two is the only one we didn't... We haven't gone through it, I mean. Yes, that is true. Are you guys okay with that? Not investigating it, I mean? So what? We found door 9. We don't need any of the other doors. What's the point? Huh? What's the point in going to door 9? 
Hmm. We can't all go through it. Right? Hmm. Then we should do what we have to do before we go any further. Hmm. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The best way to finish it quickly is to do the border pieces first. You know? Uh. Or what? You think all seven of us should go to door nine? And then we argue over who stays behind and who gets to go? Do we really want to do that again? <laughs> who knows? If we check out door two, maybe we'll find something. Maybe we can find a way to get all of us out. Huh. I don't know what might be in there. We may not find anything. But don't you think it'd be better to at least have a look? I mean, am I wrong? Does that sound wrong to you guys? Hmm. <sighs> 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 hmm. Yeah, you do have a point. The last time I checked the clock, it was 4.30. It's not like we've got a lot of time, but if we're quick about it, we might have time to take a look. You're right. Let's go take a look at door two. The elevator can take us down to door two. Who shall go there? Let's see. Me. I'm going. Then June 7 and I need to go with her. Hey, why do you get to... I don't mind. We'd only waste time arguing over it. Jumpy, I'm okay too. See? Can we just go now? In case you're wondering... Lotus and Ace could go instead of Akane and Santa. The main thing is those two have to equal nine just to push them up a little higher. Ah, <sighs> fine. All right, let's get going. I'll see you later. Okay, be careful. Lotus, would you be so kind as to go with me? Go with you? Well, I didn't think people still talked that way outside of the 1950s. Well, I'm a mother. Would that be a problem for you? Uh, that wasn't what I meant to... I was hoping you would come with me. <laughs> Seriously, though. I was kidding. In case you're wondering, that's a translation thing. There's a way to ask someone to go with you that's also a way to ask them out on a date. It doesn't really quite convey into English. <laughs> so, where was it you wanted to take me? The chapel. There's something I wanted to show you. Hey man, what the hell? I'm not important enough? Well, it's not like that. Once I've shown Lotus, I'll show you. <laughs> really? Of course. Fine. Do whatever you want. Thanks, Junpei. Are you coming, Lotus? Fine. Doesn't look like they're going to be back anytime soon. I'll explain this later if they don't show it. I might as well go and see whatever it is you think is so important. Thank you. Well then. Shall we go? Ah, they're so slow. And what's keeping Ace and Lotus? Clover, <laughs> I guess you're the first one back. Where's everybody else? What happened? Where are Ace and Lotus? Hmm? Oh, uh, Ace said he wanted to show Lotus something, so they went into that hallway. Oh, then they went over there? Yeah, I think so. 
So where are June, Santa, and Seven? Why aren't they with you? You really want to know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. Here, let me show you. Huh? Bracelets. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. No. No, 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 no way, no way. This, this has got to be some kind of joke. This, this can't be real. Huh. Three, seven, huh. six. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In the Pamela's, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the parents of the Pamela's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. But... why? Revenge for my brother. He was forced into door three and murdered. You need at least three people to open a door. Who were the two that opened that door with him? It could only have been Santa and Seven. That's why I killed them. But... why? Why did you kill June? Because she tried to protect them. She was in my way. She had to die, too. No. 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 No! Hey, Junpei. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's leave this ship. What the hell are you talking about? To... To open a numbered door, you... Yes, I know. You need at least three people. But as long as we have this... That's... The Zero Bracelet. You've got, got something in your pocket. In your what what is, it? is it? Oh, this? Uh, um... um this is... See? You get it now? If we have the Zero Bracelet, we can leave. You and I can open door 9 with just the two of us. See? So let's go. <sighs> Come on! Hurry up! Uh. Junpei? Uh. Junpei? Uh. Uh. Clover... That's lame, man. So now I have to chat, hop over to the other route, do this one properly, then do the save. So in case you're wondering, <laughs> let me ask you a question. In case you're wondering where Snake and Lotus went, Snake has man number 9's bracelet. As such, he can open the number 9 door with just him and Lotus. Basically the same thing as what Lotus was talking about there. Or not Lotus, Clover. Since this is not Lotus, uh, this is not Clover's first non-air game. She knows about that. But um, yeah, they left, and you know how the rest goes. So you can see that everything here is locked. We need to go back onto the main route. So I'm gonna just do a bunch of novel scenes, and we'll pick up next time with proper door one. So we'll yeah, I'll actually start this one with. 
the zero scene. Anyway, I am the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.